Hi guys, I'm sorry about the noise in the background, but just a couple of yards that way, literally 20 feet, there are people's gardens and houses, and there's building work or demolition of a small buildings and the removal of a car park and then cutting down of lots of very, very important trees is happening right on these guys' doorsteps. Uh, I'm stood uh, maybe 10 foot short, uh, 20 foot short maybe, of the fence deliberately so I can speak here, it's just too noisy up there. And you see how dense this woodland is. The ivy coats everything, but it's a sustained ancient woodland area. And if I pan a little further to the right, you'll start seeing yellow paint on trees. And these ones here, and over here, and this one here. They're all trees that are marked to get cut down. This area is inhabited by great crested newts, by pipistrelle bats, by foxes, by lots and lots of wildlife. There are terrapin type uh, tortoise things in the lakes nearby and the building company are ignoring the orders put down on trees to preserve them. If they're ignoring the trees and they're a very visible thing that suddenly go missing, are they going to give a damn about a bat that might be living in it? Are they going to give a damn about a great crested newt or other uh, types of wildlife in the area? The Pipistrelle bat, I believe, is the smallest bat in Britain. It's the smallest bat in Europe. It's also the smallest mammal in Europe. It is endangered. These guys don't give a hoot. So many people have started a protest in the area to protect the wildlife. See that fence being removed. That fence is being removed because the perimeter of the building site is being extended. The whole building area here is going to get extended straight through these trees, straight through the natural habitat of the wild animals. Right. This tree here, you see the yellow paint on it marked for getting cut down. There may well be a tree pres preservation order on it. If there is, it makes no bloody difference. They've cut them down already. Just here is one of the fences for one of the neighbours in the area. And that's how close the building site is going to get. When people have bought these houses because this extensive woodland is their backyard. Uh, we need help here. If anybody can come down and give a hand to these locals and empower them, show them how to look after their own rights and the rights of the area around about them and each other, how to look after the concerns that the building company are causing, you would have an awful lot of very grateful people. Thank you very much for watching.